25 things you didn't know about studying engineering. Are you considering a career in engineering? How much do you know about study expectations, career prospects, and general view of the engineering field? Are engineers really good at anything they choose to do, or is it just a myth? Well, in today's video, you will learn 25 things you probably didn't know about studying engineering. This video is brought to you by After School Africa. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing to this channel to continue exploring opportunities. 1. Petroleum engineers are the highest paying engineering profession. Six of the top 10 richest companies in the world by revenue are oil and gas companies, and in such high stake industry, energy companies rely primarily on expertise of petroleum engineers, and the petroleum engineers are handsomely compensated. The drawback is that petroleum engineers are restricted to a particular industry. 2. Civil engineering is the most employable engineering degree. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 23% of new jobs for engineers are projected to be for civil engineers, the largest engineering occupation, while mechanical engineers are second. Together, these two professions accounted for about 36% of new jobs for engineers. 3. Agricultural engineering is said to have the least employment rate. Agricultural engineering degree offers the least employment opportunities and is projected to create the least amount of new jobs in future. It is also the least paying engineering job according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. 4. Computer hardware engineering is the second highest paying. After petroleum engineering, computer and hardware engineering is the second highest paying engineering profession, followed closely by aerospace engineering. 5. Manufacturing industry employs the highest number of engineers. This is followed by engineering services, the government, and scientific research and development. Engineers in countries with low manufacturing industry have a harder time finding jobs to practice their field. 6. Most of the richest people in the world are engineers. Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, studied electrical engineering. Larry Page, Google co-founder, studied computer engineering. Strive Masiwa, founder of Econet Wireless, studied electrical and electronic engineering. Mo Ibrahim, founder of Celtel, electrical engineering. Carlos Slim, Mexican business titan, studied civil engineering, to mention a few. 7. Studying engineering can be boring. If you're a lover of arithmetics and technical drawing, you may find studying engineering interesting. But to the average person, engineering can be boring. If you have no flair for the complex formulas and calculation, do not bother studying engineering. 8. Engineers earn high income. Engineering is one of the world's top paying professions. Entry-level salaries for fresh graduates of engineering are among the highest in the STEM fields. For all the hard work engineers go through, this is a good reward, but there are no guarantees. Depending on where you live, there may not be enough engineering jobs to go around. 9. You will not use most of what you learn. Engineering is a scientific field that involves taking our scientific understanding of the natural world and using it to invent, design, and build things to solve problems. You will learn a lot in your engineering class, but the essence of most of what you learn is to develop your ability to think and solve complex problems scientifically. You will not directly use most of what you learn, but you still need to learn them anyway. 10. You have wide career options. There are several career options that you can specialize in, in the field of engineering. Before the 21st century, all that was available include civil, mechanical, electrical, and possibly aeronautical engineering. But today, there are new, exciting, and equally rewarding fields such as robotics, software, space engineering, and a host of others. 11. You need social skills to make the most of your career. Engineers are often introverted. It's easier to find socially awkward engineers than socially skilled ones. Most just want to do their job and let their results speak for them. But engineers who develop their social skills are often exceptional in their career and achieve more. So, while you're working on your academic performance, you want to also develop your communication skills. 12. There are numerous engineering scholarships. Engineering scholarships are easier to find than most other fields of study. You find a number of government-funded engineering scholarships, engineering scholarships in the UK, US, Australia, and other popular study destinations. See the description below for link to engineering scholarships. Also visit www.afterschoolafrica.com to explore engineering scholarships. 13. Expect to spend more years in school than your friends. 
While most arts and humanities degrees require four years of bachelor of studies, most engineering degrees require five to six years in most countries. 14. Engineering is still widely regarded as a man's field. Thanks to advocacy for gender, equality, female empowerment, and education, more women are beginning to venture into STEM fields. But despite that, engineering is still widely dominated by men. According to study, there were 13 female engineers as of 2018, and usually, the salary of female engineers is at least 10% less than male engineers. 15. You must be willing to take initiative. If all you do is stick to whatever you're taught in the classroom, you will remain an average student. As you progress in engineering school, you must adopt the ability to take initiative, go out of your way to apply some concepts that you are taught, and even develop them further. That is what engineering is about. 16. Engineering students suffer high depression rate. A recent cross-section study among young people in India showed that engineering students attempted suicide more than any other subset of individuals in the target demographic. To that extent, this explains how engineering studies can get, but there could be a cultural implication to this result. 17. You must have problem-solving skills. One way to demonstrate inclination for engineering is by approaching everything you do in school from a problem-solving standpoint. Do you go to class to get good grades and work for a multinational company, or is your intention to gain knowledge to help solve problems in the future? Those with the latter mindset to engineering studies perform better than the former. 18. You may end up in a totally different profession. It is common to find engineering graduates, especially in developing countries, working as bankers or insurance brokers. While engineering is a highly employable profession in industrialized nations, this is usually not the case in under-industrialized countries, where every engineer moved to the cities and urban areas for jobs. There is often not enough jobs to go around, so you may end up settling for a totally different profession. 19. Every little project you engage in matters. While studying engineering, every little project you get involved in matters to your future career as an engineer. These are the elements that you will include in your portfolio when seeking work. They are proof of your technical skills and practical knowledge beyond classroom work and GPA. 20. You need to become a team player. In many cases on campus, you will be required to work independently. But in the real world, it is the opposite. You need to build team playing skills right from school. Learn to leverage the knowledge and experience of other people for maximum result. 21. Get ready for boring classes. Some engineering classes are interesting to attend if you have a lecturer with an engaging teaching style, but you cannot escape those boring classes where you wonder how you will make it through the courses. But don't lose faith. As an engineer to be, you'll get through. 22. Don't limit your skills to engineering alone. Your survival as an engineer depends on your ability to adapt. This quality of engineers is why they tend to perform well in any field they go into. Even in business, learn coding and other digital skills. Develop your writing and speaking skills. Learning other skills that interest you outside your engineering field will make you a better engineer and give you options in life. 23. The United States is the best country in the world to study engineering. MIT, Stanford, UC Berkeley, and Harvard University rank amongst the top universities in the world to study for an engineering degree, and they're all in the United States. With most of the world's innovation coming from the US, this shouldn't come as a surprise. 24. Yes, you have to be a smart student to study engineering. The stereotype is true on this one. Engineering is not for the average student. Every requirement into most universities is above average in virtually every country so you need well above average results to get in. 25. Engineering will continue to be in high demand. As the world continues to advance in technology, the future is bright for engineers. Developing countries are becoming more industrialized, and developing nations are advancing even further with engineering innovation. This simply means more opportunities for engineers. If engineering is your thing, then go for it. Which of these points do you find most interesting? Tell us in the comment section below. If you're yet to subscribe to After School Africa, now is the time to subscribe. Until next time, your success matters.